Coach Gray, welcome back to Jersey, man. Thank you. How far is your uh, hometown from here? <laughs> hometown is about 30 minutes, so not too far. So you actually came down today, you're making a day out of it. Yes, uh, came down this morning from Ithaca. Uh, obviously I'm gonna be here for camp and then head over to my hometown and uh, have dinner with uh, uh, my family and, and my wife's family, so. Okay, so is your wife from here too? Uh, yeah, she's from Denville, so the town over from me. So you guys are, this is just like a, like a family affair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on home for a camp and then, uh, you know, stop over and see the family as well. So it's a win-win. Okay. Cornell, obviously, you know, you guys are always looking to reload. You know, yeah. one of the best teams in the country. Mm -hmm. um, trophy teams before, I mean, yeah. I'm always impressed with the product I see. But um, what are you guys looking for when you come recruit at, like, C3, you know, Compound, or Compound College, Combine? What are you guys looking for here? Uh, you know, we're looking for the full package. We're looking for kids that, uh, you know, are going to get the job done academically and athletically. You know, kids that are looking to excel in the classroom and you know graduate from you know a school like Cornell and move on and, and uh, you know do great things in the world and also you know win national titles when you're doing that so that, you guys that's really our goal you guys have obviously you know Jersey yeah. I mean it's your home state I mean, oh, yeah. you, you guys recruited it really well obviously and, and you, you're Ivy League guys it's not like you can get a guy with a 20 ACT in but you know when you look at guys and you really like someone and then you get the transcript and it's kind of not what you were looking for, you guys do have options. you got a community college there, but mm -hmm. what do you do in that case? How do you urge a guy to take care of business in the classroom? What do you say to a recruit? Uh, you know, we just tell them that, uh, you know, they're investing in their future right now. So by that, I mean, you know, if they can pick up the slack and, and, and you know, work hard and get their GPAs up, then they can enter into a, you know, a great institution. So I uh, just really encourage them to, you know, work harder and continue to, you know, stay after it in the classroom, but then also, you know, work hard and maybe do some SAT prep, some ACT prep to, build, uh, you know, build their scores, because that can help them as well. GPA, uh, your your board scores, those are, you know, what come into play when you're looking to get into that league school. So making sure you, you know, continue to build and, and, and grow in both those areas is, is huge. You know, being a graduate, your brother's a graduate now, you know, it's, it's huge. You know, you came to the system, other two assistant coaches, you know, you're the only assist coach who's yeah. come through the system. Think yeah. about that, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Damien's from Minnesota. Donnie's yeah. from Binghamton. Yep. Coach Cole's UNC, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so you're the only guy who can actually speak to having the Ivy League degree. What do you think that does for you as far as a coach? Uh, I think the biggest thing for me, and especially you know, with my guys, is I can relate to what they're going through, and then that's what I really, um, you know, I just think as a as a coach in general, I'm, I'm a, you know, players coach. You know, I like to think of myself as that. I'll do anything for my guys. So when they're having struggles and, and they're, you know, dealing with, you know, three tests on one day and then, you know, we got to get ready for, a, you know, a tough weekend against Ohio State or something, you know what I mean? I can relate with those guys and, you know, I understand what they're going through and I can try to help them the best I can, um, you know what I mean? And, and I'll, I'll just really be there for them. So I guess the biggest thing is coming from, you know, Cornell and graduating from Cornell, I can relate with the guys and I understand what they're going through and uh, I can kind of be there for, for them. Not more than other coaches, but I can just relate more, which uh, you know, which which really helps our guys. So you lose Gabe Dean, you lose Brian Rabuto, uh, you know, Nation last year. Yeah. I mean, these guys, we're talking about all-time greats in NCAA, and we're yeah. talking some of the best guys ever to win and yeah. wrestle in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. How do you guys reload? How do you replace guys like that? <clears throat> well, I don't think you replace guys like that. I think you just uh, you know have the next next crop of champions. You know what I mean? Next crop of wh whoever the next one's going to be. Um, you know, and that's kind of like our, you know, our motto this year is, you know, make make your mark in the sense that, you know, our team right now has one All-American, right? And in the last uh, 12, 15 years, I believe, we've had four all -Amer four All-Americans every year. So the trend, right, There's there's got to be at least three, we're hoping, obviously. Obviously, we want more, but, you know, the trend is to have four. So who are those next three going to be? You know, we have Brandon Womack, and then who, who are the next three? Who are the next four? Who's the next five going to be? So that's kind of what we're... we're uh, you know, challenging our guys, you know, your back's kind of against the wall, you know, people are kind of writing you off uh, in the sense that we have one All-American and this is supposed to be a rebuilding year, but we have the talent in the room to, you know, succeed and, and get to where we want to be. So it's, you know, a, a kind of a, you know, a step up type of year, like who's going to step up and, and, you know, cement their name and, and, and as, as a starter and as an All-American and as a, you know, contender for Cornell this year. So you got, you know, like Yanni's coming in, right? Yep. Uh, he, but he had he had sh shoulder surgery, I believe, right? Uh, elbows. Elbow, right? Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. That's hard to come back from. Yeah. Um, I mean, you lose the people's champ, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, oh, we yeah. could talk about that all day. Yeah. You know, but, you know, uh, that guy's a performer. Uh -huh. That guy's a winner. He's yeah. an All-American, right? Yeah. You know, um, 
you got young guys that are similar talent levels and, and hype guys that are coming in. Yeah. What do you say to the young guys like that? You're challenging everybody, but you know, Yanni's got to he's got to put up, right? I mean, oh, yeah. he's tough and he's a world yeah. medalist. He's really uh -huh. good. What do yeah. you say to guys like that, and how do you elevate them? Uh, you just you just you know motivate these guys. I think that's the biggest thing right now. Um, I think the biggest step that needs to be taken for you know a guy like Yanni who's gonna you know be wrestling right out the shoot is you know developing your mind and and believing that you're ready to go with these guys. You know, there's no difference. You know, wrestling's wrestling. You know, you're a world medalist. It was cadet level. Uh, you know, you wrestled Ryan Deacon, who took second in the world and took third at Midlands last year, and, and you, you, you know had a great match with him. Should have beat him. Like, so those are things that you know can build your confidence. But you just got to believe it, and you got to keep building and, and continue to work hard. And through your hard work and through the process of preseason, you know, grinding it out, you learn to you know have you know, have faith in your training, and then you can go out there and you can wrestle hard, and then and you can get the job done. I think that's the biggest thing. Believe in your training, believe in your coaching. So then, when you hit the mat as a true freshman, you know, 18 years old, it doesn't matter. You, you're confident in everything that you you've built and, and the work you put in, and you go out there and you scrap hard. Kyle Dick, obviously a huge part of their program, Finger Lakes Wrestling Club. You got guys like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, keeping guys like that around. Oh yeah. Um, Gabe's gonna do Greco. Oh uh, yeah. We got Gabe. We got Brian Robuto. You know, he's still around. Uh, obviously Kyle. Uh, you know, Enoch Francois. He's up there. So we got we got some really good guys that are you know up at Finger Lakes and Cooperman. Uh, yeah. Obviously Coop too. You know, he's our head RTC coach at the New York RTC. <coughs> we rebranded that, FYI. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's our RTC is now the New York RTC. Um, but no. So we got a lot of great guys that are. You know, going to help all of our, our wrestlers develop, which is, which is fantastic. So. In this room today, Bergen Catholic, what are you looking for in a kid? What are you looking for in a kid? For, you know, no transcripts, none of yeah. that. What are you looking for in there? Uh, I think, you know, especially, you know, this morning, that it's, it's day two of the camp, right? It's it's early. It's what? It's 938, right? And it's, it's you know, the bones are hurting. It, it's tough. You know, I'm looking for a guy who's really, really focused on the technique and who's actually drilling, you know, appropriately and, and really focusing on, on the, the keys of the technique and is doing a really good job and forcing himself to do the hard stuff, right? And it, it's tough to get up this early on a Sunday, you know what I mean? And and you, you wrestled hard yesterday. It's like this, It's like the third day at Nationals, you know, at the NCAA tournament. Nobody really wants to be there, but you, you got to fight through, and that's what I'm looking to see, some, some grit. These kids that are paying attention to detail, working hard, uh, you know, and then obviously we're gonna, they're going to go live here in a bit, so you just want to see kids that are scrapping hard. But I think... Kids that are doing the, doing the tough stuff and doing the things that you necessarily don't want to do, but you know you need to do, that, that, that that's always a really good sign. So that's what I kind of look for. All right, man. They're about to go scrap in there. And you got anything else for me? Actually, Cooperman's going to show some technique. You know we can't miss yes, that. We got we got to see Coop hit hit the Koopa Loop and all that good stuff. Uh, but no, I'm just. Uh, Is that a real thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is no. the Koopa Loop a real thing? No, I don't know. But, <laughs> uh, no, but uh, but no, I'm just you know excited to be here. Uh, you know, ha happy I could be here to support the the, com the combine, and uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm looking for an exciting year out of, out of, out of our guys. Uh, we're a young team, but um, you know, I can you know guarantee we're gonna wrestle hard, and that's that's what we want to see. So, thank you.